Hello guys and welcome back. In this video I'm going to show you all the structures visualized in the parasternal short axis view at the great vessels level. Don't forget to like this video and to subscribe to my channel. So let's start with the video. From the apex to the base of the heart we can obtain different views depending on the cut. In this video I'm going to show you all the structures visualized only at the great vessels or aortic valve level. We are going to focus only on this view which is called the parasternal short axis view at the great vessels or aortic valve level. The first structure is the pericardium. The pericardium corresponds to that very anterior thin and bright line. Next to the pericardium we have a less bright and thicker segment that corresponds to the right ventricular free wall. Now, the most anterior black space or echo free space is the right ventricular outflow tract. On the left hand side dividing two chambers, the first valve we can visualize is the tricuspid valve. In this view and depending on the cut, we can differentiate the tricuspid valve leaflets. The leaflet located on your left hand side it's always going to be the posterior leaflet. However, on your right hand side, that leaflet will be the septal leaflet or the anterior leaflet depending on the cut. In this picture, you can see which tricuspid valve leaflets you can encounter depending on the cut. Lower down, that black space or echo free space under the tricuspid valve is the right atrium. Now, that thin line dividing two chambers is the interatrial septum. This large echo free space at the bottom corresponds to the left atrium. This valve in the middle of this view is the aortic valve. When the aortic valve is closed, it looks very similar to the Mercedes Benz symbol. That's why this view is often called the Mercedes-Benz view. In this view we can differentiate all the three aortic valve cusps. On the top you have the right coronary cusp. On your right hand side you have the left coronary cusp and on your left hand side you have the non-coronary cusp. Also in this view you can visualize sometimes the coronary arteries. Emerging from the right coronary cusp you can see the right coronary artery. And emerging from the left coronary cusp, you can see the left coronary artery.
The first valve you can see at the top from right to left is the pulmonary valve. Under the pulmonary valve, that vertical and narrow echo-free space corresponds to the main pulmonary artery. And at the bottom, emerging from the main pulmonary artery, you can visualize the pulmonary artery branches. On the left, you have the right pulmonary artery and on the right, you have the left pulmonary artery. Now I'm going to show you on a video one by one, one more time, all the structures we can visualize in the parasternal short axis view at the great vessels or aortic valve level. That very anterior bright and thin line is the pericardium. Under the pericardium, this thicker segment corresponds to the right ventricular free wall. Then you can visualize the right ventricular outflow tract. And remember, the very first valve on the left is the tricuspid valve. Under the tricuspid valve, we have the right atrium. The line at the bottom dividing two chambers is the interatrial septum and the next echo-free space next to it is the left atrium. Now the valve in the middle of this view is the aortic valve where we can differentiate all the three cusps. And the first valve on the right hand side of this view is the pulmonary valve. Under the pulmonary valve we can find the main pulmonary artery and emerging from the main pulmonary artery we can visualize the pulmonary artery branches. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like this video and to subscribe to my channel. See you on another day. Bye.